Good luck. Fueling Britain's mornings with This Morning Food, sponsored by Quaker Oats. OK, it's a lunchtime classic and the ultimate comfort food, but Niche is in the kitchen now with three simple ways to make your cheese on toast even better. Let's pimp our toast. This is one of those dishes, I think, when you see on telly, <laughs> you want to go and cook it, don't yes. you? And you want to eat Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And it's just in time. 11 yeah. o'clock, so we can all be happy. Yeah. And we've always got a bit of free, you, you know, bread from the freezer or whatever, toast it off, and this is the way we bring it to life. We just put these in a place that they're not going to torment me in my ear. First cheese on toast pimping is yeah. in the Indian way. So this is honestly a really authentic thing in that. Indian diaspora, when they left India and went across the world, yeah. the, the sort of Western, as you say, the Western uh, snack was cheese on toast. Yeah. And this is what Indians do to every Western snack. Three cardinal ingredients. One, red onion. So you've got your cheese. Mm -hmm. You toast your bread on both sides or on one side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Red onion, a little bit of green chilli. Mm and coriander in two forms. Coriander in the form of powder yeah. and coriander in the form of leaf. Oh, so okay, those nice. are the three Indian pimping ingredients. Red onion, chilli, coriander. Mm -hmm. What this does to that sort of... You want an extra strong cheese. You want a nice mature cheddar. I can't tell you, it is so delicious and it's so fragrant yeah. and so many layers of flavour. Yeah. So I like to add to it <clears throat> my own little additional twist is a little bit of cumin powder because it makes okay. it a little bit more gruff mm -hmm. and gives more it gruff. Gruff, gruff, a little bit more punch, Ben, you see. Right, OK. So there we go. And simply onto our bread... <laughs> This is not like a rare bit, which I'm going to show you next, which is a complete pain because it involves a pan. <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no need, is there? OK, and you grill that and you get this. So let me just take my... I like how she said gruff. It's the Sean Bean of the cheese on toast <laughs> bar. Gorgeous it, it, and tasty, right, but yeah. a little yeah. bit gruff around the, the edges. The epitome of gruff, isn't Ooh. it? OK, so this is the Indian cheese on toast. So I'm going to slice it for Do you. It. And have a little taste, and you tell me what you think. OK. So let me give you some Oh, that looks bits. good. Okay. I'm going to hand you one. You're going to hand you. I have got... You've got plate. Yeah. We're, we're all plate. right. Are you all right? We're all right. Seriously? All right, oh, there wow. you go. Nice. Mm. Sorry, my dear. I just mm. Definitely oh. get that Indian sense from it, the Indian flavours. Yes, and that's that coriander sure. powder, which mm. is very, very herby and it's lovely. It's the powder and then the fresh layer on top as well that's exactly. so good. Yes. Very simple, because that's just the cheese directly on to mm -hmm. the bread, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. Next, mm. we're going to do a tuna melt. Mm. So this would come right into the West. This is almost an Americanised like cheese on toast. Yes, mm. it's all in the hips, this one, oh. in every way. Tuna, mayonnaise. So we're going to create that sort of tuna mayonnaise base that's then going to be slathered mm. onto bread, and then it's going to have cheese grilled on top of it. So I think very often tuna melt's the kind of thing that we order in a cafe. We don't really think of making it, but yep. you see how simple it is. Or you room service sometimes. Yeah, it's room service. One of those, yeah. if you've arrived yeah. in late. Yeah. It's one of those that's always on the room service menu. It is, yeah. And this is why, because it's super, super simple. A little bit of paprika powder. Let's oh. just give it a little bit of warmth. It's not chilli, it's paprika. Oh, okay. So, smoke, so a bit smoke, yeah. A little bit of smoke. So not smoked paprika, this is sweet paprika. Yeah. But it's mayonnaise, tuna, spring onions, paprika. And then we take granary bread. Now, Just granary, regular, yeah. regular, whatever bread you have in, but granary is good because it gives you that extra bit of flavour. Mm -hmm. Let's heap it up. Heap that on. Then cheese on top. Yep. Are you ready to do the Tuna next tasting? Tuna and cheese. Oh, you know I am. Yes, I know you. This is great. Okay, I asked her before, what should we be drinking with this? And we've got a pint of Guinness each. Yeah. I didn't know whether it's Coca Cola and Coca Cola, it's but Virgin let's Coke. Say, that is, but, uh, yeah, it, it's slightly flat and slightly warm, but delicious nonetheless. Oh, it works, though, doesn't it? it Try a bit totally of tuna melt. Can I want the tuna This is the tuna, tuna melt. melt. There you go. With Excuse the paprika, the sweet paprika. With a little bit of paprika yep. and the bit of the onion. And finally, and here we go. You can't do cheese on toast without doing a rare bit. So... I love the tuna lovely. coming through that, to be fair. Do you like it? Yeah, mm. nice and moist. So into this, this is going to splutter some, but we're creating basically a roux. And then into the roux, you are going to... Ooh, hey. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> a little, a little bit of really going to create a okay. Into that flour. And then we add cheese to that. So let me just put this here. So we've got that sort of little bit of a floury base. We then go in with the cheese. 
So That's here's the thing. Well, do you know what? I sit in the pub watching football with a pint. I'm now just watching you make Welsh rarebit or cheese on social with a pint. This is just as good. Is it really? Right? Yeah, it's just Isn't as good. The company's all yeah. right. <laughs> it's just as good. <laughs> Into this. What you make than the pub, but... A little bit of whole grain mustard and worcester oh, sauce. Lovely, These are yeah. the traditional ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then we loosen it with a bit of stout. So here's Ooh, the that's thing. The, that's where yeah. the Guinness came from. You then create this kind of a sauce. Let yeah. me switch that off. And that this, this bit of toast simply goes onto the bread, if I can grab that. Yep. And that is your rare bit. So let's get that last bit. Yeah. So can you see I've only toasted one half of this bread because I want that to absorb in. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah, to soak into yeah. the bread itself. And Welsh rabbit, which used to be called Welsh rabbit. Ooh. OK, well, we're going to tuck into this, aren't yes. we? Yes, all the details shot. of the recipes are on the app, of course, as mm. they usually are. Yeah. Your local weather forecast.